Let's create this effect with brand new AI-powered masks in Adobe Premiere. The new masking features easily allow you to remove the background, put text behind you or create transitions. A quick note, you currently get unlimited generations in Firefly for all AI image models and the Firefly video model until December 1st. If you subscribe to the Creative Cloud or Firefly, link in the description. All you need is a static clip from your tripod and you going around standing at different positions. And we're going to start using the object mask tool right away. You see, I just hover over my body and it automatically detects it. I just click on it and we're just going to start the tracking. And now it's possible to track in both directions. And after a few seconds, it will start the tracking. It even feels faster than rotor brush and After Effects. At one point, I saw a small imperfection. You saw this? My arm is connected to my trousers. And how to fix that is we just press Option on the keyboard and then we can select an area, a rough area that should be removed. And then it will automatically try to remove the exact part just like this. And now we can track forward, looks good, and retrack backwards, looks good as well. And stop. We just have to retrack this area, everything else looked really good. And now when we play it back, it's it's such an upgrade like the masking before you had to do everything manually in premiere pro and now it's just it works perfect like what happened in between but now to really see an effect we have to use it on different parts like here for example and this is what we're going to lay over our clip and now let's do the masking i'm really excited to see how it works because i i wear white trousers i'm just pretty impressed that it did work and track it now we've got this perfect mask and it's unassigned. So it's at no effect, at no property. All we have to do is to drag and drop it to or below opacity. And now this upper clip just is me, myself and I. And now let's go into more detail real quick. You can see here at the shoes, it might look even better to have some feathering like this. That looks really good. And what's really cool about the new masks is this visual represents can be customized a lot. You see this red dot here, so we can choose the mask overlay. So it could be a yellow overlay, for example, it could be just black and white. So this is for really detailed adjustment. I like the red overlay. And we can also switch from a lasso tool, for example, to a rectangle, if we want to add or remove something. Now let's just redo this on all my other clones. I'm nearly finished, but sometimes to make masks look really realistic, you have to also mask the shadow. So instead of the object mask, we now use an ellipse mask. To also select the shadow right here, we can definitely feather that a lot. So now we can just move both masks to opacity. So I select this, hold command and this, then we go to opacity and there it is. This one doesn't even have to be tracked because the feet are always at the same position. Now we've got many masks and to play it back smoothly, we can go to sequence and render sequence into out. So you see this line is turning green and as soon as we got here, we can just cancel and play it back. Now the creative part, let's create a really cool movement. If we go to effects, there's a flash impacts effect. We just drag and drop it to the beginning of our clip, make it a bit shorter. And then it's important to set the ease in to zero. And you can see it blurs a lot for me, a bit too much. So all we have to do is to set the blur amount, maybe three. Three is a nice effect. The glow amount can go up. Some chromatic aberration always looks nice and dissolve to let's set it as low as possible to one. And one last thing I just realized, the glow is too much. So we just keep it inside like this. That's cool. Let's just set the duration to like 10. And that's it. We can just copy it and then paste it on all our other clips. Look at this. This is a little bonus because you can make it look even more realistic and this is a huge level up of your videos. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an adjustment layer, put it right here. And now we're going to add two effects. First, the bulky blur. Now these effects are going to 
use lots of performance. So don't expect anything to run super smooth from now on. Both effects are here. And now what we're going to do, we're going to use the ellipse mask right here. And we just draw a mask first. Because my goal is, you're going to see, that the effects that we just applied will just be visible on the corners, on the borders. So we invert this. And now all we have to do is move the mask to the opacity. And you see, the effects are only in the corners now. Of course, it's a bit too much. So for example, for the bokeh, I would definitely go for 10, maybe 15. And then I just pre-rendered it. And you see effects like this really combine all the clips together and make them visually fit together. Now let me show you how you can use the new masking tools for color grading. This is a shot from Greece that I like a lot. Let's use the ellipse mask tool on this. So we just draw it like this, increase the feather. And now look again how good the tracking is going to work. And how fast especially. You see that? And what's really cool is we can now move the mask without destroying it. Because in the previous Premiere Pro versions, if you moved a mask, it would only move this one keyframe and all the other keyframes would still be at the old position. Now, if you move it, you can see the mask will stay at this place, which is really nice. If you just want to move it on one frame to just fix something, you can switch to frame and then move it. I go to the Lumetri color and what's really funny is if I just adjust something now, it will automatically move the mask to our Lumetri color effect. So we can now use this mask for color grading. And I just wanted to make his face a bit brighter. So you see the before and after, it's very dark. And there you can actually see him. You can also invert the mask and make a vignette completely around him. But this is such a great effect. Actually, there are many more color grading features that you can use with these new masks. So if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and also to join Create Beyond to learn Premiere Pro from start to finish, to become an editor and build your own life around content creation. Leave a like if you like this video. Happy editing.